Welcome back, workforce, to another episode of the Cruise Corner. <laughs> Y'all, I have the one, the only, the Miss Classic woman herself, the one who has done over 168 songs, Miss Kylie. Hey, everyone. Yes, Kylie, thank you so much from your busy schedule coming in and talking to the crew. Of course, of course. Uh, yes, Kylie, you know, you have made so many hits and you've been with work for a very long time, but mm -hmm. I don't know who you are. So we just want to make sure that we get all to the tea. So you're going to spill all the tea with us. <laughs> okay. Kylie, let us know where are you from, about your family and all that stuff. Okay, well, I'm Kylie. Um, I'm from Chicago, um, originally from the Detroit area, but I've been in Chicago now for 13 years. So I consider myself a Chicagoan at this point. Um, I live here uh, with my husband, O'Neill, um, and we're about to welcome our first child in six weeks, which is kind of crazy and scary at the same time. Um, but we're super excited. Um, and yeah, in my full-time profession, I'm an architect. Um, yeah, so I work for a firm that does um, custom homes. So yeah, that's, that's, my, that's my day job. That's what keeps me busy in the eight to five. <laughs> Kylie is a professional, y'all. She's a professional. <laughs> so Kylie, do you have a background in dance? I do, yeah. Um, I started dancing when I was four, four years old at a studio. Um, and I danced there, tap jazz, ballet, uh, point uh, for for 10 years. Um, and then I was a part of my high school's POM squad. Um, and then I also danced in college um, at the at uh, the University of Notre Dame POM squad. So I did that for, for three years. So yeah, pretty much since the age of four. <laughs> so dance has been throughout, it's been in your blood and mm -hmm. it's been a really like a driving force into everything that you do. And we see it through your choreography because we see all those elements in there and that you use. And speaking of choreography, mm -hmm. now you've done 168 songs, maybe some more, right? Yeah, it's a and, lot. <laughs> yes, and we want to know what is the process of you actually, when you get that list of songs, What's your process of picking the right song and your choreography process behind that? Yeah, you know, honestly, there's usually just a little bit of a feeling when I hear a song for a first for the first time. Um, if if I hear a song and within the first, you know, one or two times of listening to it, I don't already have an idea of what I would want to choreograph, then I know that it's it's not for me. It's usually just, you know, I hear it once and I already have an idea, okay, you know, this move would be great here and the song's sort of writing itself um, in my head. Um, but I also look for songs that have um, a pretty clear pattern to themselves and are not, overly complicated. Um, I like simpled things that are structured, um, probably goes along with my day job of, you know, building houses, that sort of thing. So um, kind of a very architectural approach to the song, not trying to, to overcomplicate it or, you know, reinvent the wheel. Nice. So because we see that a lot of your choreography is ABC format, which mm -hmm. is simple to the T as well is there a certain like is there a certain vibe because I see that it's a lot of hip-hop are you a hip -hop girl <laughs> I am totally a hip-hop girl um yeah that's it's basically the music I grew up listening to um from from high school on so yeah I'm that's that's what I still listen to in my spare time so yeah I'm totally totally team hip-hop over here <laughs> Me too, but don't tell people that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching another episode of The Cruise Corner. See you next time. Cruise Corner.